Hi everyone, uh, welcome again. Uh, so we are still uh, to cover two more topics uh, in manage users section. Uh, we have login history and we have identifi identity verification history. Now uh, suppose tomorrow uh, uh, you as a system administrator uh, get a request from your management or uh, the top uh, IT manager uh, etc that uh, can you please pull up a report and let us know who are the users who have been successfully able to log into Salesforce uh, either using the TLS method or the SSL method or both now uh, you could uh, come to login history then uh, it's a read-only format you won't be able to make or edit any changes as such now if you just have a check uh, this is a very decent format it allows you to uh, filter and display approximately up to 20,000 records and uh, also you could go ahead and uh, download a CSV or a dot Google zip file uh, and uh, the file contents uh, you could just have a check uh, which way the users have logged in it's uh, you could select all logins or TLS 1.0 login or website login and once you click on the download option uh, you could go ahead and uh, just have a check on how the users have logged in what all uh, options uh, they might have clicked uh, uh, what is the operating system they might have used and how they have logged in which server they might have hit uh, so this is the way you could find out uh, from uh, Salesforce now coming to the next topic that is the identity verification history now this uh, is generally used uh, when uh, you have uh, integration that is being set up uh, when you have integration that is being set up where you have uh, the identity uh, target uh, where uh, you are trying to validate the identity from a different system say suppose Active Directory or some third party application uh, so that hits Salesforce and you could come ahead and just have a check on how you could uh, probably just have a, a, a detailed kind of a verification that you could do uh, on what is the time that they have logged in verification attempt was it successful or not then the username that has tried to log in uh, what is the activity message what was it triggered by what is the method status what was the login time what is the source ip location uh, so this could be basically tracked when you have integration since i do not have integration at the moment uh, however in the later course i should be working or stepping into integration uh, and uh, we would also have a check in this section uh, this was just for information for all the administrators uh, this has usually not been questioned in uh, any interviews it's good to have knowledge uh, hope this was informative uh, we are going to soon touch the next modules uh, please uh, do practice other scenarios in the meantime uh, thank you so much for your time uh, and look forward to share more videos.